Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In this chapter, we will further explore liabilities. Recall that liabilities are creditors' claims on total assets or existing debts and obligations a company has. Companies must pay these obligations and debts back at some point in the future using assets or services. Just like assets, some liabilities are current and some are long-term. In this chapter, we will discuss how to classify liability, which account to post it to, and how to create journal entries using liabilities. Recall the recording process from Chapter 3. Most businesses will take these steps when recording economic events. The steps are analyze each transaction and determine its effect on the accounts, then enter the transaction information into a journal, and then transfer the journal information into the appropriate accounts in the ledger. Just as with assets, we can use this process when recording liabilities as well. Let's take a look at an example. Let's say company XYZ Inc. has a payroll due for this period of $68,000 and paid for it with $68,000 cash. This example will be showing the payment of the payroll due. The first step is the basic analysis. We see that the asset cash decreased by $68,000 while the liability salaries payable decreased $68,000. Since a liability and an asset both decreased, our equation will still balance. Debits decrease liabilities, so we need to debit salaries payable. Credits decrease assets, so we would credit cash. Our journal entry would show the date of the transaction, April 29th, and then salaries payable is debited while cash is credited. Also, some companies put notes at the bottom of their journal entry, and in this example it says to record payment of the April payroll. The next step would be posting to T accounts. Salaries payable is debited $68,000, and cash is credited $68,000. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.